Hold on a second. Paul Silberto. Can, can you, sir, could you do that again? Tonight. Wow. I think he does a good job doing it because Thunderhead's hanging out with, uh, with us right now at Bethelwood Center for the Arts. We have got Jimmy Stafford and Pat Monahan from Train. It's great to see you guys. Welcome to Thunder Country, guys. Oh, thanks for having us. Uh, I just would like to say, hey, hey. <laughs> That's my other voice. There we go. We right. love it. I got to tell you something. The other morning, it was a typical morning, opening up and looking through all these records that came in and going across. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. What was that? Train? Hey, Soul Sister? This is cool. Cracked it on, and it immediately went on the air, the country version of Hey Soul Sister, and our Thunderheads have absolutely loved it. Great comments on Facebook, so I'm telling you, it's, we've loved the song even leading up to finding it that morning, and I was, I was thrilled. So, I don't know if we were the first, but we immediately got it on the air. So I want to say to you guys, thank you. Well, thank you. All right, let's start off by saying again, welcome to Thunder Country. Tell our Thunderheads, what have you been up to leading up to today? What's going on with this tour, and what has Train been up to recently? Well, Thunderheads, <laughs> we've been hanging out with John Mayer on this tour. It's been uh, uh, a real honor for us. I'm a huge fan. I mean, that guy is insanely great. And, uh, and plus, we're doing a lot of headlines uh, shows all over the country. We're going to be going back to Europe soon and South America and man we got a full plate this Friday we're uh, on the Today Show and uh, all the Thunderheads are invited. I don't know what you look like, Thunderhead kind of scares me a little bit, but I'm sure that you're very attractive people. Absolutely, absolutely. Now you guys are back after kind of a little bit of a hiatus there for about uh, three years or so. You guys talking a lot about getting back to your roots. I know you got uh, a producer who kind of worked on your original album back in the, in the late 90s. Talk to me a little bit about that, would you? Yeah, it's actually a new producer, but yeah. he's, uh, he's, you know, he has a simpler style, more like uh, our first album, so we were kind of attracted to him for that reason. But yeah, we just uh, we took a break, and when we got back together, we decided that we wanted to kind of go back to what made us uh, love this to begin with, you know, and what made us happy, which was really just uh, writing great music together and, and playing together in a rock band instead of uh, trying to write hit songs for the radio. And I think uh, a, a country rock band. Country rock band. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I think well, you know, once we got back down to that, uh, then uh, all of a sudden we had a couple hit songs on the radio, so it's been kind of nice. Yeah, really, you guys have kind of gotten back to your roots, but really, really kind of stripped down the sound and, 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 and brought it around. And I think that that's also conducive to uh, this country remix and a lot of the stuff that you guys are doing. This is, uh, this is know, really good. I, I also heard that uh, the Dixie Chicks have been doing a version of Hey Soul Sister in their concert every night. They're, really? Yeah, I think they're touring oh, with cool. the Eagles, and uh, yeah, I actually yeah, saw yeah. a YouTube video. They're, they're amazing. They really are. Some great, great harmonies. That so. is cool. Uh, Tori with, I know um, a couple of months ago we were talking about you guys opening up at the new Giant Stadium in the Meadowlands uh, along with uh, Bon Jovi. And of course Bon Jovi had a, a massive hit country-wise with Jennifer Nettles and, yep. who says you can't go back. And again, it, it's just so cool. Your music featured in a lot of, uh, a lot of commercials as well. I love that you called the song Who Says You Can't Go Back because it's called Who Says You Can't Go Home? But I love Who Says You Can't Go Back so much better. It would have been such a bigger song had they changed that one word. You know, I talked to, we're here. We're here for ideas. I, I talked to them about it, and I love your song, Hey Soul Sibling. I think it is amazing. <laughs> It really is, it really is. Man, no wonder you got so many thunderheads out there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, scary but true. You it's know, I called my ex-wife thunderhead once. <laughs> <laughs> Along with a couple of others. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody out there laughed at that. <laughs> what, are you kidding me? They're scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, uh, it, it's really cool that country radio has given us only a, a shot. I mean, you know, we... Uh, we're big fans of country music, as uh, Jimmy was talking about, the the Dixie Chicks, as I'm not sure if you guys play them anymore, but uh, we, we love what they do. Oh, yeah. No, we were hanging out with Dirks Bentley the other day, and he's, uh, he's awesome. And so, you know, we see all these country artists kind of uh, get a chance on pop radio, 
And so for us to get a chance on country radio is a, a really uh, impressive thing in our lives. You know, it's interesting. You use the term getting a chance, but I'm telling you something. I think you guys are now setting the bar. I think of all the uh, the crossover artists, and of course, you know, look at the job that Darius Rucker has been doing. Just an amazing start in country music. But, but I think song-wise, this really is something that's going to be setting the bar um, for other artists that cross over to the country genre. I mean, for a song to be as big as Hey Soul Sister to now be on country radio, this thing, this is that, to me that was a huge moment, that really was. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge moment for us too, and so I appreciate that. Does it usually take a long time for uh, a song to catch on at country radio? We're not, not really used to it. Well, what I, what I have found, and again, my roots really in, in pop and then in, into oldies and into country, I have found that songs have a lot of longevity before they crack into the top ten. And one that, that we joke about, um, Luke Bryan's Rain is a Good Thing. That song, I remember uh, we did a grand opening uh, broadcast at a restaurant, and that song just came out. Um, and just two weeks ago, it cracked at number one. So it seems to me I've always found that country is the old top 40 of years ago with one genre but yet different fractions of that genre as compared to the difference in, in the different genres of music now. But I do, I really think that this song, uh, the country version of Hey Soul Sister is going to be a bar setter for hey, crossover and, songs. And the bottom line is that thing's got an awesome hook. I mean, it's like uh, everybody wants to sing along with that song. Have you heard uh, it? It's, it's, <laughs> I, I, yeah, you, you might have sung that, that tune once or twice, right? Yeah. Talk a little about the, you know, the new album too. Also, again, talking about your roots, going back to San Francisco and how, what, uh, what that's all about, uh, and what Train is doing these days. You know, we we uh, we came up in San Francisco as a band. We're all from different places. In fact, uh, our drummer Scott is from Saratoga Springs, New York. You know, yeah. I'm from Pennsylvania. Jimmy's from uh, just outside of Chicago, and we all went to San Francisco to make music. And uh, now we live where our families live. You know, and so we miss San Francisco, and we basically wanted to, uh, you know, make this record stories of our lives in San Francisco for those many years and also giving thanks and asking for a second chance at being San Francisco's band and they said yes again. Well, I thought it was pretty cool that you and I have a lot in common. Okay, you may look hot to the women and I, well, anyway, don't push it. we're both Pennsylvania boys. Of course, I come from the scranton Wilkesbury area, which is nowhere near Erie, but we're both Pennsylvania boys. And I've been touting that all along, saying, yeah, we're both <laughs> Pennsylvania boys. Now, uh, we want to talk a little bit about tonight, where you're at here. This is hallowed ground. You talked about Dirk's family. Dirk's was here last year with Brad Paisley uh, and uh, Jimmy Wayne. A uh, huge concert that night. But uh, just behind us, down the road, is where it happened in 69, 41 years ago. The original stage plot, the site of the uh, Woodstock Music Festival. And I know you guys just got on grounds a bit ago, but I hope you get a chance uh, to check this out. That monument is amazing down there. Um, any any thoughts on playing here at, at the site of Woodstock? You know, this is, and I, and I don't ever say this, but it's true, uh, this is the most beautiful venue I think any of us have ever been to. And even inside, the dressing rooms are beautiful, and somebody really cared about the artists when they put this together. Uh, so just thanks a lot. I'm sure that was you. Yes, I did. I had laid it off. I said, you know, someday, someday, probably three days after we start playing Hey Soul Sister as a country song, Train is going to be playing here. Guys, you got, until then, get these dressing rooms in order. I think they listen, which is cool. But no, we, uh, we had talked to uh, Chris Kulos the other day, um, OAR, back here on Saturday. They were here last year, and he had said that they thought, too, that this was one of the most beautiful venues that they have played at as well. But um, focusing on you guys, we are thrilled, thrilled that you're, and by the way, the, um, Pat is pointing to a pair of shorts that's here in the merchandise uh, dice tent next to us. It says, you know, Soul Sister. I just wanted to let you know, they had asked me if, if, if I would wear those shorts. They didn't have enough you material. You said no. Yeah. They didn't have enough material. I don't think you brought enough with you. Hey. Whoa. They say soul sister on the back and train on the front and girlfriend, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. 
Yeah. Oh. She seems so shy. <laughs> yeah, do you notice that? Yeah. We are talking with uh, Pat Monahan and also with uh, Jimmy Stafford from Train. And guys, I got to tell you, this is really an honor. It's our pleasure that you guys took the time to stop by. We know you got to head down and get ready. Um, our Thunderheads are so stoked about you being here. We have had some Thunderheads that did catch you. Uh, opening with Bon Jovi at the uh, New Giant Stadium. And uh, uh, you can't imagine the buzz that Train has created being here in Thunder Country. So again, we say to you, welcome. We say to you, thank you for your music and thank you for being here. And it's been an honor, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks have, a, have a great show tonight, guys. Train in Thunder Country here at Bethelwood Center for the...